What is going on guys? It is me L321 here today and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to get more space on your Xbox One. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So guys, this is something that I'm being asked about all the time and that is how you can get free space on your Xbox without having to buy a completely whole new Xbox. There is Xboxes out there that have like 2 terabytes and you know, people are tempted to buy these Xboxes because they have more space. And personally, my Xbox is only a 500 gig one because I've still got the same Xbox One from when the console first came out. So, my console's pretty darn old, so today I'm going to be showing you guys some tips on how you can increase the space for your Xbox. So without further ado guys, let's just get into this. What you can do to check how much space is being used and what games and apps are taking up your space, you can go down to where it says settings, all settings, load this bad boy up and then go down to where it says system, then you go down to storage and now you can see already I've used 94.7%. That's an effing lot of space being used up. I've only got 6% remaining now. So yeah, I'm basically fucked. But basically guys, if you click on this and you click view content, you can now see some of the games that you have. And as you can see guys, here is some few of my games. Um, I'm constantly deleting games off here and getting new ones. So if there's a game that I don't play anymore, what I will do is I'll delete the game off here just to save some space. For instance, I'm just going to uninstall this game right here. Uninstall all. all. See you later. And I have no idea why I still have the Amazing Spider-Man 2 on here. It's a terrible game, guys. Don't buy it. I do like Spider-Man, but the game really sucks. What you can do from here is delete some games, save up some space. Everyone knows that fucking tip, so this video is pointless so far. Here is a very useful tip which you guys can use to get a lot more space. Now, what I have in my hands right now is a hard drive. Now, this hard drive is actually one terabyte. And these hard drives don't cost too much. They can range from 30 to 50 or 60 pounds. And if you guys pick up one of these hard drives, you can get them on Amazon or eBay. You can get them a lot cheaper on eBay, actually, so I would check that out. I will leave some links in the description down below to Amazon where you can buy them. And if you guys go ahead and buy one, all you would need to do from there is plug the USB cable, which actually comes with the hard drive, into your Xbox. And once you've done that, what we can do is we can go back to our settings menu. We can go down to system, storage. And if we go onto here, it will actually pop up. Now, as you can see here, guys, it actually says for games and apps, you need a device that is a USB 3.0. And for your information, this hard drive I've got right here is USB 3.0. There is a link in the description down below to buy it on Amazon. And the hard drive does have to be over 256 gig. This is a terabyte, so this is way over. I'm pretty sure you can buy ones for 500 gig, which are a lot cheaper. So just go ahead, you know, browse the internet. And once you've done that, you can actually put your games onto the hard drive, which is really, really useful. But just one more tip, guys. Before you buy a game, just make sure you try and purchase the actual physical copy of the game. I've spoke about this before in my other videos, like with my uh, how to install games a lot faster video. Buying the actual physical copy of the game is just a much better thing to do rather than buying the actual digital version. Because the digital version takes up loads more space and it takes even fucking longer to download. So, if I was you guys, I would download, download, I would buy the physical version of the game. Hope this video helps you out. If it did help you out in any way whatsoever, Make sure to give this video a like rating and that would help me out so much. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new so you don't miss out on the best modding, trolling and gaming content. And I'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching. Just click the annotation on screen now to check out my previous video. And don't be a donkey. Slap that subscribe button silly. And I'll see you in my next video.